with the COVID-19 announcement. Travel at alert level two. You can now travel between regions, but you need to play it safe by planning ahead, giving yourself more time and keeping a record of where you go. If you can, try to take public transport at off-peak times and make a note of the service you were on and where you were sitting. Avoid sitting next to people you don't know, and if a bus or train is busy, please wait for the next one where possible. Be sure to wash your hands before you set off on your journey and as soon as you arrive at your destination. Let's all unite against COVID-19. And I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you. Maybe up with a slow motion crew. And we up in the growlings when people change, but not us. And we just chilling, kicking it, kissed by the sun. Could be soaked to the skin in the mall soon. I know she got the good vibes when seasons change, but we're the same. meters I haven't fished this spot before so um, I guess that's what fishing is all about trying new things and exploring don't want to hit the same spot over and over and rape it so you know give a spot a break and try new places um, yeah so we're just gonna try and catch a snapper I haven't got any food and I'm stuck out here till four o'clock because of the tides so um, I've got to get some breakfast some lunch and um, but have a bit of a snacky snack so we just pulled up here anyway, dropped the burley down, got two lines out, a bit of pilching on it, and just gonna play the waiting game, probably sit there for maybe until the end of low tide, which is probably another hour. Shipped into our first fish. Not sure what it is, probably a shark. It's always sharks first, always sharks first. Not really fighting that well, just feels like a bit of a dead weight, so. Say it's the old sharky spiny doggy. Let's pull him up, say hello, and get him back in the water. Little baby spiny dog, he's probably less than, less than a year old. Hey -ya! Might not be a shark. Beautiful kawaii. He's actually been nailed by a, a shark or something, probably on the way up. Check this out. Looks like he got absolutely nailed on the way up. So, um, yep, this is our fresh bait for the day. Beautiful. Thank you. 
So there's um, what looks like cow wise swimming around the boat. So I'm just gonna quickly change over this rod to a lure. See if we can land one because they're so fun to catch. Especially on lures on light gear. Yeah. Oh, he's chasing it. We can see the ripples in the water. So as you can probably tell, I'm not a very good fisherman, but I have fun and I get out there and that's what it's all about. So it doesn't matter if you suck, just enjoy it, have fun. I've probably got another about half an hour here and then I'm gonna move on because it's starting to slow off a bit as that tide finishes. So Kawai is great bait. Oh. As I was saying, yep, Kawai is great bait. As soon as you drop down, you're getting a fish on. Another shot. There's one thing about bait is it's got to taste good, otherwise the fish aren't going to eat it. So there's one way to find that out, and then just try it yourself. Like that. So I made the decision to leave that other spot, there wasn't much happening apart from sharks. Just spotted a whole load of birds sitting on the surface, a couple of them diving, so chuck the lure out as we make our way through and um, see if we can hook another fish. But we're going to head up the coast a bit further, I'm getting pretty hungry, and see if we can catch the feed. So I might head up the carrot patch, see if we can get a few gurnard, um, and yeah we'll just see what happens though. Eh? Beautiful day, not that many people out, so make the most of it. So we're coming a bit shallower now to get away from those sharks. And we're gonna try and target some gurnard, try and get something for lunch. So all I'm gonna do here is start a drift, drift slowly out from shallow to deep. And then when I come across a patch of fish, I'm gonna drop the anchor and just stay there. Man, straight away, I turned the GoPro off thinking it might be a while before I hook up, but straight away just hooked this guy. What a beautiful fish. So I got lunch, gonna put this guy out of his misery and yeah, keep going, cause that was instant, that was mean. So I've just come in shallow, we're doing some drifts for Gernard. Um, just got a couple, it's nearly lunchtime, so I'm gonna go around the corner and cook up a feed in a sec, but just having a bit of a flick. Feels like another gurnard. Yep. Beautiful fish. We're only in six meters of water here, so it's pretty cool. Look, look at the size of that gurnard. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I don't usually come to this spot all year round. Um, I just come every now and then. But usually every time I come, it does provide. And as I was saying earlier, I've got to go away to sea for two weeks, so I need to get some fish for the freezer um, for the family because I'm not going to be here to provide for them. Um, and Gurnard actually freezes really well, so it's um, it works out well for me. There's another one. So we actually, as a family, we don't um, we try and rely on the supermarket as little as possible, and. Um, most of our, well, all of our fish is caught and all of, we don't buy meat from the supermarket either. So um, we try and eat as sustainably as we can and that's why a fish 
fishing and fish makes up a large proportion of our diet. So while I'm gone for two weeks, this is the family's protein. I don't usually, I don't usually take this many um, in one sitting. Get them while I can. I got a bit distracted by the gear there, but um, I'm absolutely starving, so I'm just going to head around the corner into one of the bays and uh, cook up a feed. Got about uh, six fish there in about half an hour, so pretty productive spot. But I've picked the smallest one, the other ones are a bit too big for me to eat by myself right now. So I pulled the smallest one out, I'm going to whip the fillets off and have a bit of a cook up. Pans on, oil's in. Just get a fish crumb, salt, pepper, garlic powder. Don't forget the garlic powder, otherwise there's no point bloody eating. Just gonna get that pan nice and hot. And chuck this in, I'm so hungry. It's actually windier here than where it was where I was fishing, but oh well, more to here now. Bloody starving. Not quite ready. Be patient. If you're from Nelson, you probably know where I am right now. Beautiful spot. Too early. Way too early. Good things take time. Save those breadcrumbs. Might see if I can get some mussels later. So, crumbed mussels. Ooh -hoo -hoo. That is done. Excuse the bent pan. That wasn't me. That was there before. Check it out. Such a beautiful spot, and I'm starving. That didn't take long, so I'm just gonna sit here and have a feed, and then um, probably go and have another fish, but man, this is so good. That is the freshest you will ever get fish. Mm. I'm gonna finish this, and then we'll um, probably cruise up the coast a bit further. Um, don't really have a plan from here maybe catch a few more fish um, but I've really been thinking about mussels crumb mussels so um, I think that's the next mission from here so just gonna finish this and then we'll get into that so I just pulled up in another spot just gonna have another drift got the soft bait out and see if we land a few more gurnard Another beautiful fish. Doesn't take long around here. Man, it seems like every single cast is just a fish, eh? You pretty much can't do anything wrong with them, eh? These light rods are so good for gear today. I just feel every bite. And they're not that strong of a fighter, so it just makes them a bit more exciting. Got my first spine of the day. Pretty painful. Oh, 
I don't know what this is, this feels a bit heavy. Uh, looked in the mouth, he was just wrapped up a bit, but man, this little curly tail has done the damage today, eh? Um, see that motion there in the tail? I think that's what's doing it. So that's just drifting along the bottom, sitting down, wiggling, going, sitting down, wiggling. So I think I'll just go for one more and then head out because that's heaps now. Completely glassed off, there's not a breath of wind out right now, it's so quiet. It's just absolutely flat. That's epic. Anyway, I'm gonna punch up the coast and try and find some mussels. You just pulled up to a spot that I dive quite a bit that I know has got blue cod. So just gonna have a couple of casts on my way past, see if I can hook one. Blue cod aren't fussy, they'll pretty much eat anything, so if you know they're there, you're bound to hook one, no matter what you got on. He's undersized, just by looking at him I can kind of tell. And if you, if it's small enough that you have to look at it and measure it, then it's probably undersized and you probably shouldn't be keeping it, so. He's gone back in the drink, we'll have one more car, see if we can get another one. All these fish on the surface, so I'm gonna check a lure at them, see if I can grab one. Oh, the panic is real, the panic is real. Okay. Got him. Man, just look at that. I love fishing like this. <laughs> Sight fishing, so much fun. Just found myself a nice wee tropical paradise. So I think I've finished fishing. Couldn't find any mussels before, so I might have a look here. And I think we'll call it there for this video because the GoPro's run a lower battery. But you know, as usual, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I'm just gonna relax, put us in this beach for a few minutes and then punch my way back home. So catch you later. Phew!